the 2024 election is in full swing. And yes, age is an issue. I'm a grown man <laughs> running against a six-year-old. <laughs> well, I feel great. I really feel great. I'm campaigning all over the country, Pennsylvania, Georgia, North Carolina. I've always done well in the original 13 colonies. <laughs> age is the only thing we have in common. My vice president actually endorses me. <laughs> I had a great stretch since the State of the Union. Well, Donald has had a few tough days lately. You might call it stormy weather. <laughs> Trump's so desperate, he started reading those Bibles he's selling. <laughs> then he got to the First Commandment. You shall have no other gods before me. That's when he put it down and said, this book's not for me. <laughs> Journalism's clearly not a crime, not here, not there, not anywhere in the world. <laughs> and Putin should release Evan and also immediately. <laughs> Just we're doing everything we can. We're doing everything we can to bring home journalists fellow journalists, Austin, and all Americans like Paul Whale, you know, who wrongfully detained all around the world. We have to take this seriously. Eight years ago, you could have written off it as just Trump talk, but no longer, not after January 6th. I'm sincerely not asking of you to take sides, but I'm asking you to rise up to the seriousness of the moment, move past the horse race numbers and the gotcha moments and the distractions, the sideshows that have come to dominate and sensationalize our, sensationalize our politics. And focus on what's actually at stake. And I think in your hearts you know it was at stake. The stakes couldn't be higher. Every single one of us has a role to play, a serious role to play, in making sure democracy endures, American democracy. So tonight, I'd like to make a toast. To a free press to an informed citizenry, to an America where freedom and democracy endure. God bless America.